So I don't know how many people are actually following my channel. But I got something in the mail today that I'm actually pretty excited for. So, I know a lot of people don't use the style of NSK spindle. This is just a lower half of a bearing pack. But the problem that we have when using something like this is finding an edge accurately. So, everybody knows what an edge finder is. The problem with this, this 3 8 shank is it just doesn't go up inside here. It doesn't fit in any of the collets. It's just too big. That's where my searching and internet skills came into play. And this is from Little Machine Shop. I've not opened this yet. Or I've opened it, but I haven't looked inside. I've just cut it open because I'm doing this one-handed. But let's open this package. What do we got here? We've got a Little Machine Shop catalog. Nice little touch. Don't need that. And apparently we've just got this little flat envelope. Make sure there's nothing else inside here. Nope, it's empty. So let's go ahead and open this little package. I'm actually pretty excited for this if it actually works out. And of course I'm doing this all one-handed because I'm holding the camera with my other hand. Dump it out. And here it is. A quarter inch edge finder. Use my teeth. Dump this thing out. Now that right there might be a problem. Come on, come on. Using my dang teeth. Ooh. Moves. Got a flat on one side. But, this is the best part. It fits into a quarter inch collet which in turn will fit in the spindle. That's what I'm excited about. So I'm going to get this set up on a machine and go about doing a little bit of uh, playing with it. So let's see what happens. So here's what I've got. I've got the edge finder in the spindle. I'm using this spindle because the NSK E3000 can go down to 500 RPM. So I've got it set to 1000 and I made a comment about the flat, and I really wasn't sure exactly why it was there, but then I actually looked on this, and it says audible. So, that tells me that when that flat starts bumping up against here, we should be able to hear it. Now, it's a quarter inch shank, which goes up into the collet, and the edge down here, the diameter of this, is 200 thou which is in inches. So let's uh, let's play with this thing. So I'm gonna click the spindle, which all this does on this machine is give me power to my VFD, so I have to come down here and actually click start. So we can see that thing's running. And I've just got a vice set up here. It's not bolted down, but we're just gonna indicate this, not indicate, but we're just gonna edge find this face right here. Go the jog, we're on continuous. Let's give us 10%. Make sure we're not going to crash. We're gonna get close. And we'll put it in step and we're gonna go 0 0.01 millimeters just to play with. I say that. Now we're going to step over. I'm going to close this door down here to quiet it out, see if we can hear that thing knocking. Wait. 
for it. And for anybody who's not familiar with what we're trying to do, is this thing's wobbling off center as we can see. So when we come up here and we touch this edge, it's going to straighten out and it's going to run concentric with this shaft. And then once we actually get to the edge and touch it, we're, we're looking for this black piece down here to jump off center. Oh, I can hear it. Starting to run true now. Now we're just waiting for it to kick off. I don't know if anybody saw that or not. But it kicked off this edge right here. I'll move in just a little bit more. I actually kind of like the audible feature of that. That's pretty nice. So we went too far, so we're going to back back out of it. Give that a little. We're actually really close, so otherwise, if we were further away, I would pop that and get that spinning it erratically. All right, so there's our edge. So in a normal situation, we would come up here zero x because that's what i was doing it in raise the tool up and then move over half the diameter of the end of the edge finder to put a center line with the spindle but since we have the option and we know that we come up here and we just tell it you are at 2.54 and then we jog the spindle up. Let's see if I screwed this up and forgot to put a minus sign in there. Then I'm gonna tell it to go to X zero. And when I press enter, it's moving, but it's moving really slow. Let's go ahead and Cancel that and let's go G zero X zero. And press enter. And there it is. If we turn the spindle off, and we ginger carefully jog down so we don't crash anything. We can now see, let me spin this just so the flat's not in the way, that our center line of the spindle is now over that edge. And we're sitting at zero. I have been looking and looking and looking for one of these for a very long time and I'm actually happy that I found one. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. This is kind of a game changer for the people in my networks.